Oh yes, I warned y'all, Christmas was coming early to my channel and it is basically here. Welcome, Merry Christmas. All right, I'm just kidding. Not Merry Christmas just yet, but we're getting a little bit festive already. I've got a little bit of Christmas decor behind me. This year, I decided that I really wanted to complete all of my Christmas shopping before December 1st. I wanted to be done, wrapped, so that I could just enjoy the entire month of December with my family. The reason that I'm bringing you Christmas a little early is not because I'm trying to like push Christmas on you before you're ready and we're trying to forget about the turkey and I am preparing early in my real life and because I share with y'all here what is going on in my real life that means that you are forced to prepare early with me now raise your hand leave me a comment down below and let me know when you start your Christmas shopping some of y'all might even already be done I know there's people out there who get done they have the whole fall season to just have fun I'm not that prepared but today I'm going to help you out. If you are like me and you want to get started on your holiday shopping, you want to start getting some things knocked off your list and out of the way, this video is going to be 12 unique gifts. They're not like women's or kids or whatever. They're just unique gifts. So there'll be some stuff for kids in here. Maybe something you might want to give to a teacher, a spouse, a friend, especially if you're just looking for something kind of unique, small, not a crazy price point, just to add a little extra special touch to a gift. All right, number one is this beautiful set of playing cards. So it's two decks of cards. What makes these unique though is obviously they have this beautiful floral print. So these are from the designer William Morris. So it's definitely, so it goes beyond just being a regular deck of cards. When you open them up, you've got your two decks inside. Again, just the beautiful floral print on those. It's something that to me makes a great stocking stuffer, uh, something to toss in maybe for a teacher, your mom, grandma, hairdresser, something that's kind of a classy gift. I know not everybody plays cards still, but a lot of people do. I do, I love card games. So to me, something like this would be just a really sweet, thoughtful, fun little gift to receive. Okay, we're gonna make a U-turn from the classy gift. And how cute is this uh, bone comb? I believe is what it's called, the bone comb. And it is a little dinosaur head hair comb. You open it up like this, you've got the smaller teeth, a few rows of the larger teeth, and it's just a cute little dinosaur head. My daughter, I got this for one of my five-year-old twins, and she freaking loves it. My boys all have really short hair and they don't use combs like this. Uh, but it's great for a little boy or a little girl. It would be a great stocking stuffer. I love this dinosaur comb. It is so cute, so fun. Okay, we all know the love of a good candle. The reason that I'm bringing this one to your attention is because this is one of the most unique smelling candles I have ever smelt, I've ever had in my nasal passages. So when I was recently in Texas, we went to Magnolia and in Fernie's, which is her like retro plant store, which by the way was so fun. I got myself a cactus named Benny. It's so fun, all their plants have names. And my daughters and I were like, why didn't we think about naming our plants? We, why haven't we done that yet? So we are currently making name tags for all of our plants. That is neither here nor there. I have a cactus named Benny from Fernie's, but they had these candles. So this one is called Vinyl Records. And this one says that it smells like crackling nostalgia and extravagant simplicity. I have to just tell you that, oh, you can see how much I've already been burning the mess out of this thing and I've been trying to like hold it back. It's from Anecdote Candles. Again, I thought that maybe that was like a house brand. It's not, you can find them in other places. I will link them down below. I love this candle so much. Um, and I smelled a number of candles from this brand around there and they all smelled really good, but vinyl records just, it hit me right in the feels. I really liked it. So fun names, fun descriptions for the candles, giving something that feels like a basic gift of a candle can be made a non-basic gift by having it be something that's really unique and thoughtful and will just kind of put a smile on their face. That's the kind of person that I am. Then again, my gift last year that I loved so much was a taxidermied squirrel. So maybe don't take too many recommendations from me or do, because I know what I'm talking about. The next gift, and this brings us to today's video sponsor. So Anchor is sponsoring today's video. If you watched my recent uh, Travel Essentials video, then you have already heard me talk about how much I love Anchor products, but I do have a couple to share with you today that I think would make excellent stocking stuffers or gifts 
teacher gifts. This one would make a great teacher gift. So this is the 511 power bank from Anchor. This is what I told you guys I was waiting on to arrive before my trip to Texas. What I love about this is not only is it very small and compact, it can fit right into my purse, super portable, easy, obviously, which is nice when you have a power bank, you want it to be as portable as possible. So you can flip this thing out here and you can directly plug it into the wall. But to be able to charge this in the wall at the airport or something like that, is so helpful without having to have any extra cords or anything like that. You can just plug it right into the wall. So that's why I really love this one is not only is it very portable, lightweight, super easy, charges your phone really fast. I believe it's three times faster than the old version of this one. So it will charge my iPhone 13 three times faster than it used to be able to. So love that. And the other product I have here from Anchor is the magnetic battery. This thing is so cool. I'm gonna show you exactly why I love this. So it flips out like this. And then you can prop your phone while it's charging on this so that you can just lean your phone on so you can watch it. You can turn your phone to the side and it's magnetic so it will hold your phone. You can put your phone in either orientation and it will hold your phone and you can just kind of prop it up so that you can still use and watch your phone while it's charging. The other thing is if you wanna keep that folded, then it attaches to your phone like this so you can keep taking pictures, you can walk around, hold your phone while it's charging. It's essentially just like adding this little wireless portable charging unit to the back of your phone for a little bit to charge it up and you can still keep using your phone. You can still keep functioning with your phone. And to me, that is again, so beneficial because there are times when your phone is dying but you still wanna be able to use it. This has happened to me on like trips to places with the kids where I'm trying to take pictures, I'm trying to do stuff and my phone is dying and it's so nice to be able to charge my phone while I am still using it and I don't have to have it plugged into something and in my bag or whatever. So. Portable chargers are just a must have. Either one of these products or any other products from Anchor would make a fabulous Christmas gift, stocking stuffer, teacher gift. Pretty much everybody these days has a smartphone and keeping them charged is always a struggle. So this is a gift that is practical. They come in a bunch of different fun colors. I chose the baby blue. So you can pick something that is kind of distinctive to the person's personality. You can pick a fun color for them. I mean, they are pretty darn cute. And I think either one of them would make an excellent gift. Okay, you might be wondering what in the heck is this? So this is called a wallet ninja. It's a little sharp on the end. So it does come in this little case to keep it um, safe and from poking you. But this is basically a very obviously flat, thin, it fits directly into your wallet. Obviously for us ladies, we, we like to just toss things down into the abyss of our purse. And it's essentially a multi-tool to carry with you all the time that is lightweight. It has a slot here where you like insert a card, credit card or debit card, and it can turn this into a cell phone stand. There's a screwdriver on the end here, box opener, like a little screwdriver type thing for your eyeglasses. I love things like this that don't take up a ton of space, but it serves a purpose. It's something that's kind of unique, but practical. Those are some of my favorite gifts. Obviously I like weird stuff, but I really like gifts that are practical, but unique. Definitely something unique to add to a stocking or a teacher gift or something like that. So this gift is something that I never really knew how much I needed and I have just, I use the mess out of this thing. So this is a visor sunglass holder. So it just slides over the visor in your car and then it opens up like a magnet here for you to put your sunglasses in there. So hold on to the ear pieces of your sunglasses and hold them up in your visor. I am just somebody that is always tossing my sunglasses into like the center console of my car or into the abyss that is my purse. For me, this is just such a helpful, neat little like knickknackety, gadgety thing that you don't, you would never go and search for, at least I wouldn't go and search this out, but having it is so nice and helpful. And again, I think those kinds of things just make the best gifts, the best things to like toss into stockings and stuff is candy and unique little kitschy things that aren't chintzy. That's the, that's probably the best way to describe it. Kitschy, yes. Chintzy, no. Speaking of candy in the stocking, you guys, I think that adding in some nostalgic candy for someone can be such a thoughtful and sweet thing. I love getting candy in my stocking. My husband knows that like, you don't have to put anything else in my stocking if you just put some of my favorite candy in there, like hot tamales, cinnamon red hots. Oh, candy sounds so good. But I came across this candy on Amazon and I was like, cream savers? Those are the candies of my youth. And it just took me back. I don't know 
if you're from the generation that cream savers were a, a hit for you. But they were for me and I ordered them in bulk. I ordered a set that had like six of these bags in it. <laughs> so you don't have to necessarily do cream savers candy in someone's stocking or with their gift, especially if it's like a spouse or a parent, you might have some inclination of what their favorite candy from their childhood was. Look it up because you'd be surprised how many you can still find uh, that are being made, but just not, you just don't see them in stores all that often. I don't feel like I ever see these in stores. Maybe I'm missing them. Maybe I'm so distracted by Swedish fish and other things that I'm just not seeing these, but I never see these in store. So when I saw them on Amazon, I was like, I have got to have those. And now I have a little stash in my nightstand, a little stash out here in my office and a little stash in my car. I'm a candy hound, okay? So if you have candy hounds in your life, something that's a little nostalgic for them, I think makes an excellent and very unique stocking stuffer or gift. My next little gift recommendation is a little mini brush. Again, a great stocking stuffer. The reason I like this one is it's got the regular kind of like plastic bristles, but then it also has the boar hair or the stiffer ones. These are my favorite for like actually like brushing your hair and making it like fluffy and pretty. Perhaps if you have a daughter, a teen daughter, but even like a mom, like as a mom, I carry a hairbrush like this so I can fix people's hair. It's just kind of something I, tossing in a little brush I can use in my big mama tote bag. Um, and this I can use on all of my kids' hair. I have kids with all different hair types and I love that I can use this brush on everybody. So I can use it for myself or I can use it for any of my kids. So I love having a little brush with me. And I just like this little wooden one, it's pretty. And maybe it seems like a random gift to you, but that's kind of the thing about like unique gifts like little stocking stuffers like that it is something that's practical useful and a little bit different something that you wouldn't necessarily think of and like I said those make the best stocking stuffer type gifts to me not to mention it's mini everyone loves mini things all right next up I have for you the original table topics questions to start great conversations I think this is especially a great gift for someone who hosts holidays a lot I am often the person hosting uh, Christmas or Thanksgiving or any of those kind of holidays and we often have 30 plus people here. This is a great gift for somebody like me and it is something a little bit different and unique and it fits inside a stocking. But this is basically questions to start great conversations. This is their 10th anniversary edition. So in their own words, uh, these engaging questions inspire the best kinds of conversations, whether at your dinner table or at a gathering with friends. Each card poses a different question that helps you create the perfect mix of conversation. They're fun, thought-provoking, and everything in between. There's 135 questions. They're created for adults, but it's appropriate for kids ages 12 and up. Some examples of questions like you could see on the back of this one here. Uh, what do you love about your hometown? Is it important to be book smart or street smart? If you could have front row seats to any concert, who would you like to see and if you could give all human beings one virtue which would you choose so there's no rules it's just conversation starters and a fun conversational game which I love I don't want to get so in the weeds of a game because if you're a mom then you're getting up to get drinks and and wipe butts and change diapers and you'll get lost and you don't ever actually get to like play the game because you can't pay attention to a game game this is something that everybody can kind of participate in even when you're standing in the kitchen cooking and everybody's kind of at the table or multiple around everyone can still be a part of a game like this this would make a great gift especially like I said for somebody who does a lot of the hosting and stuff this would be something nice to gift to that person in your family about needing to bust this out right now it's getting a little hot in here I have my fan turned off but this is a handheld little portable mini fan this let me just let me just open it first of all it's got the cute little ears at the top that's adorable but ha -ha. Mm. two speeds two speeds has a usb and a USB C charger so that you can charge it uh, comes in a number of color options I'll turn it off there for a second and it folds up it's very light and small and portable it won't take up a ton of space in your bag obviously makes it very portable and handy great gift great stocking stuffer gift for a number of reasons are you premenopausal or menopausal and you've got the sweats all the time, just randomly hot flashes? Great gift to give to a woman in your life who's at that stage. Uh, are you a mom who's sitting out at like soccer fields and baseball fields and like ugh, sweating to death and dying in the heat? 
this is a great gift for her. For young kids who are playing sports or something, or if you're like us and you have a giant vehicle that does not rotate air around very well, and the people in the back of the vehicle are always hot and complaining about being hot, little portable fans can help with that which is why it makes this list because this is something that can be given to lots of different people in your life. So many practical uses for this, comes in a lot of different colors, affordable, fits in a stocking, just makes a great gift, okay? Portable fan, we all need one. All right, we're down to just two more things. This next one, again, great gift, stocking stuffer for mom, a teacher, for somebody who has to rise early. I love these. Um, these are probably going to be in one of my upcoming favorites videos because that's how much I love them. But these are from a brand called Body Restore and they have a number of different scents and there's like calming ones, but I like these. This is the Energize Shower Steamers. They're individually little wrapped um, shower steamers. You just unwrap it and put it into the bottom of your shower and let the warm water hit it while you're showering. And this has like an energizing, invigorating scent that kind of wakes you up. So if you're somebody who showers or has to get up super early, these are great I just they really do like kind of I don't know they just give you that like invigorated and energized feeling and they smell so nice it just kind of puts you in a good mood I know that sounds weird but I really really like them and I'm somebody who normally showers at night and I have like a lavender spray and I have like a eucalyptus spray that I put in my hot shower when I don't feel good uh, but I've actually started showering in the mornings more because I love these so much and I love using these and they make me just feel like awake and excited and happy. It just puts me in a good mood, okay? It's a shower steamer, but it's a great stocking stuffer. Again, would make a great teacher gift, friend gift, tired new mom gift. These are great. All right, the last thing on the list, this Stanley cup. Okay, it doesn't have to be this one. I was teasing my husband this morning. I was like, yep, I got the, the influencer cup. This is the influencer cup. All the influencers have one. I guess that means I have to have one too. I just really liked this color and I kind of wanted to see what all the buzz was about. It's kind of part of my job, you know, if there's something that's real buzzed about and everybody loves it, I like to try it, see if I think it's worth the hype. The jury's still out on whether this exact cup is worth the hype. Uh, because it is a little bit pricier. But I have shared with you guys before other cups I have like this, and I will link a few options down below in the description box for you. You can see my lipstick on it right now because I am currently drinking out of it. I will say that part of the reason I do like this one is that this part fits pretty easily in most car cup holders. It's not, some of these can be really big, the bottom parts, and they don't fit in your cup holder in your car, and that's annoying. But it is big. It does hold quite a bit of water. It is heavy, which, you know, if I'm paying... $40 for a cup, I guess I want it to be heavy. That makes it feel like it's somehow worth the money. They come in a lot of different colors. They're, these are very popular. People seem to really love them. Or maybe they're not that great. It's just that everyone has one, so everyone wants one. Either way, an actual like portable insulated cup though of any kind, whether it's the Stanley one or a different one, uh, makes a great gift. Again, this will fit in most stockings um, and a great teacher gift. Somebody who works at a desk all day or again, moms who are running around. Again, this is a gift that really would be suitable for a lot of different people. And there's lots of different color options and multiple price point options available for something like this. So that's why it makes the list. All right, y'all, that brings me to the end of the video. That's what I have for you today as far as unique gifts, stocking stuffer type items go. I have a lot more gift recommendations coming for you. We're not only gonna be doing uh, gift recommendations here, fear not. I do have a lot of really fun holiday content coming your way very soon, so be sure to subscribe if you've not already. That's gonna be it for me today, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check the description box. Everything I mentioned and talked about will be linked down there. I never think to remind y'all of this, but I also also have a email newsletter that I send out a few times a week and people seem to really enjoy it. I send out a weekly encouragement every Wednesday. I've started sending out a Friday email with Friday favorites. So uh, because I usually just do a favorites video once a month, this allows me to share some other like little things in between, talk about books I'm reading, stuff like that in the Friday favorites. Um, and then Sunday we send like a roundup. I've gotten lots of great feedback from the email subscribers. If you would like to be my email friend, I will put all that information down below in the description box as well. So that's it for me today, y'all, and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.